Hello, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be figuring out how to display all of the reusable towels. Let's get into the video. If you followed along on this whole journey, it started on March 8th when I bought a big load of cotton flannel. And since then, I have been working on getting them um, sewn up into sets. Here's what a set looks like. So we have eight towels that have been surged together. They have uh, barbs on the top and bottom. Now, the only thing I haven't done to the about 200 sets that are sitting here ready to go is I have not put on the paper label. Um, I have about 45 right here, um, the old ones and the new ones. I don't care, it's the same thing. Um, I need to print 25 more sheets of these. Uh, I'll be at Virginia Beach this weekend, and so I wanna be able to take all the inventory with me. I'm not gonna worry about putting the papers on. Worst case scenario, I'll just sit here and hand these out when I give someone their set. Um, or I am, but I will be working on putting these on during the lulls. Uh, it's always good to have a, something to do and it makes it look like your stuff is moving. So I'll work on those in Virginia Beach. If I don't get them all put on, I don't care. It's not a big deal. Um, and then I'll just have them to be able to hand to people if they buy a set that doesn't have one already on it. Uh, so what I need to do is, um, show you what I've got and then combine the stuff that I just finished making with the ones that I already have done. So let's go do that. So this is 180 sets. I took out 12 for the order that I showed you guys from the last video and then 20 sets came out in the last video to go to my last show. So it was 212 sets total. Um, it's almost 2000 towels. And uh, once I, um, after this weekend, I'll work on the next set, which I already have cut right down here. This was from the thrift store. This was from my stash already. This was from my last event. If you watch any of those hauls, so you know where these came from. And then these guys are the remnants from the ones I just showed you. So I still have more to work on once I get done with these. Anyways, so what I did here is I have little baskets and I have big baskets. Both baskets sit four across. Um, however, the these baskets are deeper so they hold more and what i did is all the ones with more than four in the set are in the white ones and the ones that have four or less are in the gray ones so what i want to do is so this is one of my tables for the craft show and obviously this is too much i don't want this much out so what i'm thinking is uh i'm going to take all of the use all of the white baskets and i'm going to have four and four so i'll be able to have six different sets and then the additional sets I'll just put um, below my table, but I can pull them out. I'll have them with me. So let me go grab the bags that are already done because I also want to be able to put my black display unit and have enough space for that too. Here I've got all the ones that I already had made. Like this is my demo one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these to these piles up here again put the fours in the gray basket and the more than fours in the white basket and then we'll go from there. Here is the layout I'm thinking. So I have my four white baskets on either side of my black display and this guy is going to hold all of the single sets and um, like anything less than four is what I'm thinking on this guy and then I could do fours and fours. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let me load this guy up. So I moved all of the gray baskets onto the floor here. It actually had more so these are all the sets less than four, four or less, and I had to move them off the table. So let me load these onto the black thing. Here's how we're looking. So I haven't touched these guys on the side. Here is the sign. These two in the front are, or sorry, these four in the front are singles. These guys are doubles. And then these guys up here in the top two rows, there's three of each. So I put two out and then the last one I put in this basket, which there's actually a spot that gets created on the back side here, which is what I've done in the past, and I'll just put the duplicates right there, and I can easily restock from the back. Now, down here, we eliminated a basket, only have one spot left. These are all four sets. So what I'm gonna do is, of this ba baskets here, I'm gonna have it be four and four. So I'm gonna take out everything that's more than four and put it in a bag. All right, here is how we are looking. So we've got some pretty empty baskets. And I've got two bags going here. So this guy is dog, cats, and flowers, or spring. And then this guy is like masculine, manly, and ocean. So now I gotta add 
what's in the baskets into these baskets and hopefully we'll have enough room. Okay, I've got the final design now. It's a little crowded right now and it's a little more than a table. I ended up getting rid of one of the bins because I faced them uh, long ways instead of short ways and I actually like this better. So I had four bins for the four categories but um, I just stuck like the flower ones in the back. I think those are gonna be less popular anyways. So I've got ocean, dog cat, and then manly. Uh, and then, so these guys are all fours. So if once these start running out, I can restock them from these bags. And then the ones here, there's no restock for this front row. This row right here can be restocked from this basket right here. And I'm really happy with this. Uh, but when I put my next table next to this, I'll be able to spread it out a little more. And then next will be the jar openers. So I'm happy. I think this will be like really easy to shop through, find exactly what you want. I was trying to make it where like two matching colors don't sit next to each other. Like you can see here, well, I need to flip this uh, brown so the two grays aren't next to each other. So it's clear to see where the separation is. But I'm very happy with how this looks. I think it looks very nice. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. These are all the bins that I was able to eliminate and I will take this with me just in case I switch my mind and uh, swap around my design. It's always nice to have them with you, but I am gonna try and pack these up how they are. Uh, these guys are gonna get loaded into a bag, but all of the ones in the bins, I'm hoping I can somehow load them where I don't have to redo this. Here is the bag I'm going to use. I made this bag actually from an old comforter and then I have pieces of cardboard so I'm going to see if I can put these in and stack them on top of each other. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Here's how it's looking. I put a piece of cardboard on the front and on the back to give it a little bit more reinforcement. I'm going to lay this on top and put the next bin and it feels very sturdy. I think I'll be good. Here we go. All packed up. So in this bag I have all of the masculine and ocean extras that are more than four sets. And then I have the singles from the triple sets. And then I also have my display towel with my um, uh, paper towel holder. Then in this one, I have all the feminine and the dog and cats. And then here I have all of the um, singles and doubles and triples that go in the uh, display rack. And then this is two of the containers, which I did not unload, and I put the extra one inside of it, so I'd have it with me. And then here is the third one. I actually love this bag. I got it from a thrift store haul one time, and it is the most amazing bag. Like, look at this. It actually, like, seals shut, um, and it's actually probably going to be raining when I get there, so that's why I wanted to try and have them as bagged as possible. But this is everything I'm taking just for towels, so...